Hi everybody, in this video you're going to learn how to make a countdown timer in p5.js. So you notice you have, I had a 10 second countdown timer and I also have a general timer that is counting up from when the setup function is called. So let's look at the code and see how this works. It can be any amount of time. I just set the time limit in the time limit variable so it's going to be 10 seconds and I'm keeping track of that in the countdown variable. Uh, set of function is the same, just creating a canvas and setting the frame rate to 30 frames per second. And in the draw function, and so I'm keeping track of the current time from the milli, number of milliseconds that has passed, and I'm converting that to seconds. So the general timer is going to measure how much time passed since the setup function started. And, and this is measured with the function millis which measures milliseconds or 0.001 seconds. So what I do is convert it into seconds by dividing that by a thousand. That'll tell us how many seconds that is. To figure out the countdown, I, I, I'm starting from 10. I want it to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That means I have to subtract how much time has actually passed. And that's what's happening here. I'm taking 10 seconds, the time limit, and I'm subtracting how much time has passed, the current time. All right, if four seconds has passed, then, then I have six seconds left. If eight seconds has passed, then I have two seconds left. And when it's 10 seconds has passed, I have no time left. And that's what this if statement is checking. If my countdown is less than zero, I'm setting it at zero, because I don't want to go keep going negative. That's what will happen. So I'm just setting it at zero, and I'm displaying this game over message at this width and this height. And if we run it, and there's our game over message. It is less than zero. And then the heads up display, it's I'm just again I'm just setting the text size, setting the color of the text, the fill of the text, and the string and the variable for each current time and the countdown time.